Hello guys and guys, and welcome to another tutorial here on Tuesdays. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can install shaders on Minecraft, so you can make your Minecraft videos, or you can just play Minecraft and have everything look all fancy and beautiful and stuff like that. I do have shaders on all my SG videos, um, and as well as my other videos on my channel, so you can kind of get a feel for how much of a difference it makes um, in your videos and, and stuff like that. You can definitely tell and... Um, once you start using shaders, it's really hard to go back just because they look so awesome. But um, I had a lot of you guys request to me uh, to make a tutorial on how to install the shaders because I know um, a few of you may not know um, and uh, I wanted to spread the knowledge with you guys so you uh, can as well install shaders and do all that fun magical stuff. So anyways, we're going to start off the tutorial by um, going to the mod page of um, both Minecraft Forge and the actual shaders mod itself now <clears throat> we're gonna look for um since this is kind of a universal tutorial it'll work for pretty much all minecraft versions um we're gonna go ahead and uh run down uh a little pre prerequisites um so anyways you're gonna look for the latest version that the shaders mod is on so right now it's 1.7.10 uh, 1.8 was released today, but notice how they haven't updated the mod, so it's still on 1.7.10, that is okay. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that 1.7.10 is, um, an available Forge version as well. So 1.7.10, here it is. So, now we've made sure that our version is supported with both the Shaders mod and Forge, we're basically going to keep this version number in mind 1.7.10 and if you haven't run this version of minecraft already you're going to want to go ahead and uh, create a new profile in minecraft and call it 1.7.10 and you're basically going to make sure that you uh, select release 1.7.10 release 1.7.10 there you go and you're going to save profile and you're gonna select 1.7.10 and you're basically going to click play and download um, all of the uh, files for 1.7.10 since I've already played the Minecraft version 1.7.10 we are actually good to go so I will go ahead and uh, quit game real quickly there oop that was weird and uh, basically now that we have downloaded all the 1.7.10 vanilla files, we can go ahead and start modding. So, we're going to download 1.7.10 recommended. We're going to click installer. And uh, it'll basically open up in like an ad fly thing. Basically, you're going to have to wait like uh, 5 seconds. And you should be good to actually download the uh, Forge file. So, you're going to want to click keep. And then I can close this. And uh, that has downloaded Forge. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. And it should open this. If it does not open this, you're actually going to have to search um, Java Runtime Environment. You're going to click this. And you're going to download the latest version of Java Runtime Environment. Now when you click on the uh, Forge file that we just downloaded, it should open this window. Now from here, you can actually go ahead and click Install Client. Click OK, and it'll go ahead and install Forge all for you. No modding required, you just click a button and it does it for you. So now we have Forge installed, it's as simple as grabbing um, your shaders mod um, file. So I'm going to go ahead and find for Minecraft 1.7.10, that's the version we're doing. Um, you can't mix and match versions, so it has to be the same one all across the board. And uh, we'll go ahead and download that. Yet again, same thing with the ad fly. You just gotta wait a few seconds and it should um, do its thing. So, two, one, zero. Let's get bad. There you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and click download. So, now we have Shaders Mod installed. I'm gonna drag that out. Now, another um, optional thing is uh, downloading, um, downloading Optifine. So, I'm not actually sure if it's required. It might actually be required um, I didn't put much thought into that part <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and download it anyways uh, it won't hurt Optifine is a wonderful mod to decrease slag so I'll go ahead and search Optifine Optifine okay cool um, we'll click there and we will download 
Optifine for the same version. Keep in mind, it has to be the same version for everything you download. And uh, there we go. Download link, or we can actually do a mirror. Let's do that. So we don't have to sit through AdFly. <laughs> and um, there is our download request. There it is. Okay. So now we've got the shaders 1.7.10, Optifine 1.7.10. And it looks like we're pretty much all good to install these mods. So to uh, install these, we basically have to go and um, click Command R if you're on um, Windows, and type in percent app data percent. Now it'll open up this window right here. You're gonna click uh, dot Minecraft, and you're gonna go into the mods. And then basically, <clears throat> what we're going to do is I already I already actually have some mods installed, um, but uh, you're gonna I'm just gonna put these away so it's uh, less confusing for everyone. Um, there you go. You didn't see that. Um, so yours should look empty without all these folders. My folders are just there because I like organizing the mods um, that I uh, go to a lot, and I like to keep them there instead of downloading them each time. But this folder should be empty. Um, so if this folder is not here, um, the mods folder, if this is not here, you can go ahead and create it by right clicking and going to new and then folder. But uh, my mods folder is here, so um, you're pretty much good to go. Just drag these into the mods folder and you can actually go ahead and start up Minecraft. Now uh, you should be good from here on. Um, there is something we have to change in here though. 1.7.10, that was the one we used to load up vanilla minecraft for the first time now you're basically um, going to want to rename this to um shaders all right 1.7.10 shaders and then this is very important you make sure you uh scroll down until you find forge uh release 1.7.10 1.7.10 forge and you're gonna click that save and then you can go ahead and click play with 1.7.10 shaders and basically Forge is just going to load up all the mods that are in the mods folder right now it's just Optifine and shaders and um, it'll go ahead and launch Minecraft now if all goes correctly you should be able to click mods and um, Optifine and I do not see shaders where's shader <laughs> it might not actually show up uh, you can actually make sure shaders is installed yeah if you go to options and shaders is an option now as you might notice I do have a lot of shaders right now if you have never used shaders before your list will be empty and you won't have any shaders to deal with um, I will link a whole like shaders like bundle for you guys to download in the description below but my personal favorite is uh, Sonic Ethers unbelievable shaders version 8 ultra I also really like um, SUS V8 standard basically the same thing but without waving leaves and um, those are my two favorites there are a whole bunch that you can um, select from and uh, you know try out but those are two that I really like and I use uh, SUS V8 ultra in my videos and uh, if you want to make it look even more awesome you can download a resource pack um, a lot of people have been asking what the resource pack I'm using is or the texture pack I'm using is. Um, it's actually one that I'm working on and I don't want to release it until I'm totally done with it. But I will release it when I'm done and you guys can go uh, check that out. But there is still a lot of things I want to change about it so I don't want to release it quite yet. Um, I hope you guys understand me not releasing it um, right away but I want to make sure it's perfect and um, I don't know. So. I will tell you guys when it's released and you can download it and whatever, but um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much shaders. You can find all the download links and the, uh, the websites that I pulled up in the description um, so you don't have to dig around for them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys um, learned something from this tutorial. And hey, if you did, probably your friend could learn from this tutorial too. So make sure you spread the love. Share this tutorial with your friend, your grandmother, your your father, I, I don't know. Um, let's make sure to share the tutorial around so um, you can spread the knowledge to all your friends. And um, with that said, enjoy your shaders, enjoy having amazing looking stuff, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.